It's not just an ordinary Tuesday. Welcome to Terrier Tuesdays, the show where you can get to know some of Boston University's best and brightest student athletes. Welcome to another edition of Terrier Tuesday. My name is Pat Lawler and joining me today is Chebica Unwuzurike, who is a graduate student on the BU Men's Track and Field today. Chebica, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, no problem, Pat. Really glad to be here. Uh, now, you and I last spoke back in April on a Zoom interview, and so much has happened since then, it's hard to put it in context. But obviously, the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis on May 25th, uh, the ensuing protests against police brutality and the discussions of systemic racism in this country have very much been on everyone's mind. Um, tell us, if you can, what the past few months have been like for you, and what are the, some of the things you've been involved in? Um, so for the past few months for me, um, I think, um, initially after a George Floyd's death, I think it was definitely very shocking and, uh, depressing on my end, mainly because, you know, it is a pandemic going on. So the fact that even, you know, the businesses were closed, schools are closed, quarantine was, uh, enacted in most states. Um, like we still have, you know, systemic racism going on, still have, you know, um, people can't go on jobs. People, you know, can't walk around campus without seeing and feeling those effects. So that's always, that was just kind of really crushing to know that as well as, you know, there's just that feeling of, man, this is just another one, another, some, because of systemic racism, someone has, you know, lost their life, lost their job, you know, lost a part of their day, just another cost that, um, you know, people in the black community or just other communities of America who are minorities have to deal with. Um, so that was just really crushing. Um, you said what activities, activities wise, you know, I actually haven't gone to any protests, but for the most part, I've been donating my money online, creating logos and doing more things on um, the actual uh, spreading the news aspect from the from more, I guess, remote area. So. Um, uh, that's what I've been doing recently. That's great. Uh, so the BU Department of Athletics announced today the creation of a social justice and inclusion committee, which is made up of uh, staff, coaches, student athletes, and you were chosen to be on that uh, group. Uh, please tell us what that means to you and a little bit about what the committee hopes to accomplish. Uh, it really means a lot, uh, especially because uh, early after George Floyd's death, uh, Drew um, had uh, a Zoom meeting where a lot of people, you know, the black community who felt very strongly of what just happened, um, could voice their opinions, not opinions, but voice their thoughts and feelings and have, you know, uh, people who may not resonate as much with the death or even just what's going on, listen. And I think the first Zoom call had 100 or 200 people. And then uh, we had a, a subsequent Zoom call, which had close to 400 and more people. Um, both white, black, uh, different races were able to talk and uh, share their opinions and at least know that people who were in our community or um, our athletics community were able to listen. Um, as great as that was, I'm really glad that we've shifted and taken all that energy and shifted it to a more constructive uh, committee that's long lasting than just, you know, this moment, this summer, uh, so that we can then back change. Uh, not just a student level, but a staff level, a coaching level, and a faculty level. So I'm glad it's hit from all fronts, um, as well as, you know, I've always, I'm really glad that I was a part of it because as much as, you know, I've been, um, haven't liked the current situation, I've never been one to just kind of sit on, you know, my lump and just complain. So I'm glad I'm able to voice my opinions in a space where it can be heard and, you know, things can be done with it. So I'm really glad to be part of the community. Great. Uh, also, Student Athlete of Color Group was initiated last year, and you were a member of that group as well. Um, can you tell us about some of the discussions you had last year and how that work will help you uh, as you form this new committee? Yeah, so um, Student Athletes of Color uh, is a newer group. Um, uh, at the time, I was heading out, um, going to be graduating, so I wasn't as an active role in um, – in participating the discussions and whatnot. Uh, but after I realized I was coming back and after um, I realized there's still time to join, to fully join, um, I've been a part of it, helping them out with um, the logo and other creative projects that they wanted to do, such as we did a, an event on Juneteenth 
So that's been really good. Uh, overall, the past few days, past few months, were primarily on the setup, such as, you know, the mission statement, some consistent times to meet different events, such as, you know, um, clean statement for going, going right now. Uh, but now we more to conversations of what we're going to actively do in creating uh, plan A, plan B, plan C for the following year, regardless of if it's 100% completely remote or if we have some type of halfway or we're having, able to have most of the campus. But overall, we want to, we're want trying to create a space where conversation can be held and knowledge can be uh, disseminated and spread out. Great. Uh, Tyler, how, sorry, Tyler Hodd is the Assistant Director of Student Athlete Support Services and the advisor for the SAOC uh, and has been instrumental in their creation. Can you tell us about his role and what it's been like to work with Ty? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been really, really great to uh, work with Ty, especially since once he was brought on, he was the replacement for our, uh, the track and field uh, student advisor, academic advisor. So uh, I've known him since he was first brought on. Um, it's been great just working with someone uh, who looks like me, who ran track in college, who did high jump, um, also someone who is aware of just, you know, uh, academia that's, you know, needed at a higher um, educated, higher education, uh, as well. It's been really good that since, you know, we've been able to connect so early on, he told me about, you know, how he wanted to create the student athletes of color and at least just pioneer it and help. Um, foster it um so it's been really glad really good that i've been able to work with him as well as he's been uh, he's provided the guidance and also that consistency to get the ball rolling because after the ball rolling i think there's people who will be a part of it seeing that you know things are going on but to initially get the ball moving you know uh, in the beginning there's only a few people are in meetings and then overall it starts to build up as well as time provided you know, the administrative skills that he has developed and that he has to keep everything focused, keep everything in a timeline, set meetings up, uh, as well as connect with other people outside uh, of student athletes of color, uh, as, well, as well as he's been, had a really nice hands-on, hands-off approach where he's given the space and the moments for us to lead it. And we can see that there's going to be a nice smooth transition, you know, as he may take a more administrative role in uh, the program and organization. So I think he's done a really, really good job. Great. That's great. Well, we all know the upcoming year will be unlike any other, but as we get closer to the start of the semester and it's right around the corner, uh, what are you doing to prepare for your final season here at BU? Uh, final season wise, uh, I've just been, you know, training as usual, trying to stay in shape and hopefully use this, uh, use the summer to, Handle injuries, rehabs, and really bounce back. So I'm even stronger than ever. And then um, academic-wise, I haven't really done too much. You know, I think just with the uh, senior year and then it being on remote and Zoom, it was just very uh, challenging. So I was like, wow, I'm going to have to do this again for an, another year. As much as I like the, what I'm going to be studying, it's just still school. So um, yeah, work the <laughs> yeah, past months I've just been relaxing, trying to, um, you know, get into more of uh, my artistic and creative stuff just as a uh, detox for for next year's academic schedule. Great. Well, well, thank you so much for joining us today in this edition of Terrier Tuesday. Uh, great having you once again and uh, stay well. And we hope to see you in the fall. Yeah, you too as well. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in to Terrier Tuesdays. Give us a follow on our social media accounts at BU Athletics on Twitter and Instagram for more content.